Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition, where in the last episode we started the quest Pieces of the Past, and in this episode I intend on finishing it. Um, if you didn't know, this is a Daedric quest, but I don't think we know that yet, technically, although I'm sure almost everybody does. And before we get too far into this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Helps the channel, helps me out. Well, I don't really know how it helps me out other than helping my channel, which in turn helps me, I guess. So, yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, come on, shoot your arrows. For some reason, it wasn't letting me sprint there for a second. So, right now, we are retrieving the third piece of Mayrune's Razor, which obviously is in this um, Forsworn readout, whatever they're called. I think it's readouts, right? Well, this is Dead Crone Rock, but that is next to Hag Rock. Re yeah, readout. Oop. Hello. Oh, of course you had to do that. Taken after me, huh? So I'm using a warden's like, haha, I got this. Except they're dead now and I'm not. So who really got this? Is this gonna... Yeah. Those things can be quite annoying. Remember when I was in the... What was it? Labyrinthian? And I was trying to walk down that hallway and it took me like three minutes. Oop. Pressure plate. Um, thank you guys for the good response on the finale of the Stormcloak video. Um, it was actually quite surprising. That's a alchemy school book. Nice. It's like my one of one video for quite a while now, or one of ten I mean. It's gotten like oh, almost 200 views in the couple days that it's been up, which isn't... Well, no, it is a lot. I'm not going to pretend it's not a lot. But it's just like the channel has kind of like hit a little bit of a slump, slow down. Um, towards the end of the um, Solstheim at level 1, Let's Play, our chan the channel really, really blew up. And lately it's kind of settled down. But that's not always a bad thing. We're going to be starting a new series either this... No, oh, this leads to Skyrim. Either this weekend or next, so... There should be plenty of opportunity for growth with that, especially because I am tapping into a different game, but it kind of still stays in the realm of Skyrim since it is another Bethesda game. I don't know why I took those arrows. They're bad. They're not worth anything. I'm never going to use them. And before we get too far into this video, we're only three minutes in, would you guys watch me stream, um, like, the, the fishing in Skyrim? I know that sounds... Oh, my game just crashed. No, oh, it didn't crash. Holy crap. But the OBS isn't working. I have no idea what this is going to look like for you guys, and I don't know what to do. Okay, that was really weird, and I literally had to restart my PC to get my stuff to start working. So, anyways, what was I saying before? I think I was asking if you guys would watch a um, live stream of me going through the fishing quest line, you know, the Creation Club fishing quest line, because that takes about two hours or so. Maybe even three, and I really don't want to, you know, make videos on that because that would be a couple weeks worth of videos for our channel just to cover, you know, fishing. It's like that isn't worth it at all. Nobody would be interested in watching that whole thing. I don't think I would end up uploading it just because it would take me over 12 hours to get it uploaded just because my upload speed isn't very good. Hey. So it would very much be something just for the people who watch the live stream to see. And obviously if you go and check out the live streams, I have a face cam so you would see what I look like. And I say check out the live streams like I've been live streaming lately. I did have a good stretch where I did it for a few weeks, like every week for a few weeks, but lately I've just haven't been doing it. I mean, to put it lightly. All right, here we have the pommel of Megan's Razor. I don't really know why, I just like, there was a couple nights when I would usually do it that I wasn't able to, and then it just kind of spiraled out of control of me just, you know, no, I'm not going to do this anymore, basically, which is disappointing, but I've been, I don't know, I just haven't really gotten back into it, but I would like to eventually, but I would like to know if you guys would be actually interested in seeing that, because, you know... 
you know, the biggest part of streaming is having people watch your streams, because if people aren't watching, I might as well just play it on my own and not put that much stress on my PC. Okay, anyways, now we return to Silas Vesuvius, I think his name is. Kind of reminds me of Mount, Z eh, Mount Vesuvius. Um, I, I pardon that strange noise I made for anybody that had to hear that, and they're like, why did I have to hear that? It's just because. Is this... Yes, Shady Sam added with a mod. I don't know what mod. I don't really have that many mods installed. I mean, obviously I have a city mod installed because Dawnstar actually looks like a real city. I mean, even then it's still small. Like, way smaller than you would think a main capital city in Skyrim would be. But that's okay, that's Skyrim. We're used to it. It's an 11-year-old game. Give him a break. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra... Ah, Have you just yes. been waiting for me to, like, come back Notice the insignia. and, and finish your little spiel? The key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. Cool. Okay. What is it? Do you have one of the razor fragments? I have all the pieces of the razor. All at once. You're efficient. I like that. Here's your reward. Finally, all the pieces of Merun's razor are in my hands. It's time I let you in on something. There's a fourth piece, that scabbard in the display case, built to house the razor. And yeah, more. I kind of figured that one out. I know how to put all the pieces together. We just need to take them to Dagon's shrine and contact the Lord of Change directly. You think... Well, honestly, that sounds like a terrible idea. You don't want to be a part of history? Fine. I'll be at the shrine if you change your mind. Well, I, I never said I wasn't going to go. I do, you know, I partake in terrible ideas on a daily basis. I am a 20-year-old boy. I'm not a man. I mean, you'd think 20 years old, that's a man. Like, it happened again. What is going on? Why is my PC doing this? It says encoding overload. It's really annoying. Now there's a loading wheel on my screen, on the Skyrim screen. This is getting really frustrating, guys. Alright, I'll see what I can do to fix this, I guess. Okay, so after I cut the recording, I went and checked out the actual video to see what was going on in it. And in the video, it actually never stops recording and you can see everything that was happening on my screen, even though it showed it frozen on OBS. So you probably will see the very end part of it before I switch, but I did still cut anyways. And the weird scrolling wheel... Okay, please shut up. The weird scrolling wheel that I said you could see, or that I could see on my screen, actually popped up in the recording software. So, very annoying. I don't know why it's happening. This is legitimately the first time I've ever had this issue. And I've recorded, you know well over a hundred videos at this point, so one has to really wonder why it's happening. I just hope it's not something like really, really wrong with my PC. And now it's gonna suck, because I have to piece together like four different, or three different videos, and I really don't know how long I've recorded so far, so I'm probably gonna record this portion for, I guess like, I don't know, 15 minutes? There's a moth buzzing around my room. It's like tippity-tapping on my ceiling. I doubt you guys will be able to hear it, but if you do, sorry, not sorry, I don't know. It's not my fault. It's a moth. What am I supposed to do? Okay, skill book. Oh my god, this is the second skill book in this video that I haven't read so far. I'm almost at level 30. How is this still happening? Nice butt, unicorn. Oh, and we're calling the unicorn donkey now. Um, that was left in the recommendations. Well, not in the, rec the comments, the recommendations. That's not how it works. Um, it translate. Well, it's like Dune or Dun, D U N, and then Key or yeah, Key K E Y, I think. And it was recommended, and it translates in the 
something. I forget what it translates into. Um, I'll throw up the comment on the screen at this moment right here. Um, probably just cut out the name of the person that commented it for their privacy. I don't really know if they would actually care, and they'll probably end up commenting on the video, talking about the fact that their comment was in the video. So, yeah, that's a thing, but that's their decision. I'm not gonna put someone on blast on accident. Well, I guess it wouldn't really be an accident, but you know what I mean. I'm not gonna do that. Where am I going? Did I, like, miss the turn? Or am I supposed to be over here? You know what? I'm gonna fast travel the Tower Mazark, even though I know I'm really close. I don't really know what's going on too well. I'm kind of weird. So we'll just head over here that way. I know there is a path up to this place. It's also the same place you go when you start the Dawn Guard quest line, I think. You basically go up the same exact path. But, oh well. We should get there in no time right now, especially counting we're on a horse or a unicorn, I guess. Which has been a nice steed and is pretty cool because it just doesn't die. I've noticed, I mean, I've gotten into plenty of fights with it. Well, not like with it, but by its side. And I've watched it get, like, sprayed in the face by dragon fire and not take any damage, so I'm just assuming it is invincible. Ah, oh, yes, here is the path. And there's an ice wraith in the way. I'm going to go on foot from here. Just because, you know, horse combat sucks, to say the least. Oh, something's attacking our horse, though. Get away! Okay, accidentally hit donkey in the face. But she is okay. He or she, I don't really know. I mean, the horses in Skyrim, I guess some are gendered. I think they're just all girls. If you ask the stable hilts, they all refer to them as females, I think. But that's another thing that I'm not really sure about. It sounds correct. I know the guy at um, Whiterun Stables refers to the horse that you buy as a female. Good. You're here. I'll place the pieces on the altar, and Dagon should speak to us. Okay. Merun's Dagon, the Lord of Change. We have brought your razor to you. We beg you, please, bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not working. Why don't you give it a try? Just put your hands on the altar. Okay, talk Merun's Dagon. You, mortal, you are worthy of speaking to. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. But Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. He helped me find the pieces. He deserves to live. Only Dagon can declare if a pawn is worth keeping. I have spoken. Kill him. Take your rightful place as my champion, or I will crush you. Wait, wait. Don't kill me. There's another way. I can take the pieces back to my museum, seal them in a display case. You get a generous amount of gold, I get to complete my collection, and nobody has to die. Fine. Get out of here. Thank you. Here's your gold. I'll make a run for it back to Dawnstar. You think to betray Mayrun's Dagon? Suffer! Whoa, don't, don't let him die. That would defeat the whole purpose. Okay, did he survive? Where is he? Silas? Yes, he's all the way down there. Um, he's running away for some reason. Key to Mayrun's Shrine. And, yeah, maybe that disappoints you, but I'm not actually going to complete the quest. Because my character just wouldn't do that. Um, Silas, why are you... He's... It's saying he's mad at me. I don't really know why he would be mad at me. I don't think I hit him. I actually jumped in front of him and saved his life, basically. 
Um, but let's check out what's inside the shrine to Mayron's Dagon. If I recall correctly, there is, yep, more Dramoras. Okay, last but not least, they're not very tough. I feel like if you're a lower level doing this, maybe level 20, like right when you get this and you don't have overpowered items like I do right now, it would be a little more difficult. But to me, it's, you know, child's play at this point. And one thing I also, well, one thing that's also very cool to know about this place is it's honestly one of the best ways to get Daedra Hearts to craft Daedric weapons and armor. And if you return after a few days, the Dramora outside respawn. So they're basically an infinite supply. And like Daedra Hearts can be harder to find at lower levels. And although, obviously, you can only start this quest at level 20. Um, level 20 really is before you should be crafting. Ooh, what's this? Staff of Banishing? Not really. It's before you should be crafting, you know, Daedric weapons and armor. If we're all being honest. But most people who focus on smithing level it up quite quickly I mean I know I used to I mean one of my like main things for my characters was always you know smithing enchanting most overpowered gear as fast as possible but I don't really like to do that anymore I feel like it just makes the game I mean it's already an easy game and you could just up the difficulty but it's just it disrupts the natural flow of the game and it takes away the importance or relevancy I should say of you know, custom armor and weapons that are made in the game, like this stuff. Okay, um, let's return to Silas over in Dawnstar. I hope he made it back all the way. And see what's going on for, with him. I think it also said I have a level up, though, don't I? No, I'm just really, really, really close. And also, he said I would get a large sum of gold. I got 500 gold when he gave me 2400 just to get the pieces. So... In Silas's economy, his life is worth less than the pieces. Which is interesting to think about. And did we actually fail? Yeah, that completed the quest. I was wondering if it was just going to be like, you know, you can come back if you kill him or something. Because I've never chosen this route before. And like I said before already, um, if you're disappointed, I apologize. But it's kind of how I plan to do it the entire time. Oh, here's Silas. I never thought all I would want is peace and quiet, but I think our little adventure scared me straight. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. And yeah, there's all the pieces. Actually, where's the pommel? Oh, it's down there. Must have, like, rolled or something. You know, I've never done it this way. Very interesting, actually. It's really cool, actually. Kind of enjoy this. I never thought all is that all you're going to say now? Quiet, yep, probably. I think our Okay, that's actually really, really cool. I know I've already said that three times over, but... Oh well. Sue me, I guess. I don't really know. What am I going to do now? I mean, I'm still waiting for that message from... Falk Firebeard, his name is. So, you know what? I'm going to go into the Jarl's Longhouse. I think Brina Marilis is Jarl now that the Empire won the Civil War. It is night, really, really late, so she's not going to be up, so I guess I'm, I'll wait. Come on, wake up. And I'm just doing this, I'm going to just, you know, assert that I'm Thane right now. I don't think assert's the right word. You know, ensure, yes. You come to Dawnstar at a bad time. Tempers are fiery. I came at a bad time? What's wrong? Not a single man or woman in Dawnstar has gotten a good night's rest in days. We keep having the same nightmare, over and over. If people aren't tired, they're angry. And if they aren't angry, they're afraid. It's made keeping order a mess. I hear Mara has sent one of her priests to the inn to try to calm people down. But I don't know how much words will do now. Sounds like a job for the Dragon Board. I said that really weird. Um, anything else you need, my Jarl? There is room in my court for a new thing. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thing. I want you to know I don't trust you, Medina. It would be an honor. Good luck. I'll tell you the same thing I told Skull. Stay out of trouble now. The people of Dawnstar not play politics. 
point your suspicions of treachery elsewhere. You're someone so you who say. can get things we'll done. We'll see if that's true when the Stormcloaks make their move. Well, at the first sign of battle, I'll be comfortably sitting in my room, waiting for it to end. So don't you worry. Okay, there's some bad blood there. He thinks she's a traitor, or at least not trustworthy at least. I just said at least twice in the same sentence, and it was very redundant, and I apologize for that. Anka, who Need are something? you? Um, nothing in particular. I guess we'll start this quest, and we'll probably do it in the next video, actually, while we're waiting on Falk Firebeard to write his little note. Warm food, warm drinks, and warm okay, hello, Arinder. Yes. What's wrong with everyone around here? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. Um, what could you do anyways? Dreams aren't real. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. Ooh. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. What's your plan, then? I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. What do you mean, return? You've been there? I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. I trust you. How can I help? Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Okay, so that is what we're going to do in the next video. Um, nice singing lady. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, even though it had plenty of issues, and not on my hand, but the last 15 minutes of the recording went well, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.